So, uh, welcome back. Can I talk to you a minute? What is it? Let's see what Micah. I think you misunderstood me earlier. I ain't trying to rob you. You know me better than that. What are you trying to do, Micah? Save you. Save everybody. You know me. I'll go back to Blackwater and get the money. Meet you all someplace and we'll be home free. That's it. Just think about it. That's all I'm saying. The way I see it, we gotta try. I'm... Um, I'll think about it. Thank you. Here. I'll do whatever you say. Always. Evening, Arthur. I wouldn't trust that rat Dutch. I don't know what his problem is. He's just like, he's just like, ah. The way he sucks up to Dutch. Alright, let's go to bed. Right, Sean's been staring at this map or whatever for a couple of days now, so we're gonna see what he wants. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Dead Eye Maguire. Roy, follow me. <laughs> we need a haircut soon. Why is he? Oh. Hey, how far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. And it's hard to it? Yeah. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. Look out. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. 
I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. You saw me in action in those tobacco fields. That worked out all right. <laughs> that was funny, I though. I guess you could say that. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Easy. deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's Sean McGuire. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Cowie walks. There's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking, you hang back. Yeah, so they pulled his teeth out and he didn't say anything about the gang. Hey there! Clearly didn't talk oh. about us. Oh. I'm gonna give you about the... To get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big property alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them. Home of beast. What? Where? Right here. Oh. It's up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Sean, you crazy bastard. You got a problem here? Oh, he did the splits then. Come here with your hands up. Nice and easy. You saw what we did to your pals here. I'm gonna leave real quick. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. <sighs> Ooh, what's in here? Oh, but then, huh? Tell us where you stash your money and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Uh, no, what? Uh, get the up. hell out of here. And don't look back. Nope. Okay, let's just go and grab the money. Uh, in the bedrooms, inspect. What's this? So, here we are. Uh... Got some good stuff. No, thank you. I'll have my own gun back, please. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Cash. Told you we'd take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Yeah, Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? <laughs> All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. 
Right. Um, I think there's nothing left here for us. Take. Moonshine. Okay, let's get out of here. Gotta stop at Valentine. Yeah, welcome. What can I do for you? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Hank told me a man of the Right, let's do it. Um they weren't a bit better. So I sent him to hell. Okay, we're lo looking a bit more clean. Alright, let's well, get out of here. You fools. Oh, we got that bounty right here that I wanted to do, so... We're gonna do it right now. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. It tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. <clears throat> and we need him alive! That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Okay, let's go and get this go son of a bitch. Girl. Okay, I think we found our guy. He's held up right in here. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. We got him. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know. We a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. <clears throat> I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, oh. Wait, wait. 
Come on, pull. How do you do this? Pull, pull, pull. There we go. <laughs> oh, 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 you saved me! Now come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. Oh, my God, no. They expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me, no. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. Oh, shit. He did it. Oh, really do not like you. Oh, that's his horse. Okay. Ah. Where is it? Oh, he's up ahead, holy shit. I can hear him. What the fuck? I got across. Swim to the edge. Grab on to something. They're safe. Throw a rope or something, please. We got him. We got him. Come here. Come here. What a pain in the ass this guy is. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Let me go. Where the fuck do you think you're going? What a pain in the ass this guy is. Now he tied the fucker up. You know what? I'm gonna loot you for that. You're coming with me. We'll take him in and on his own horse. Now the fun starts. Yeah, so I delivered that bounty and got fifty dollars. So better than nothing, right? Uh, how do we get down here? That way. Right, we're gonna go and see John Marston. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed? Just who are you? That awful business was nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. I like... I like smoking tobacco, not recklessly burning it. Like I said... Had a run of bad luck in the West? Lost money in some failed railway speculation? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. 
Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for some horses. What the hell? Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. <laughs> that was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Boy. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... <laughs> okay, then. Let... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Yeah. Let me do the talking. I guess we're talking to this guy right here. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Uh huh, greaser, huh? All right, let's get out of okay. here. Okay. Bandana's on. Good point, John. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Calm. Easy there. Easy now. Ooh, calm, calm. Easy. You're okay. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. I see. Yeah, we can lead her now. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stealing your horses. <laughs> oh, God, 
<laughs> oh, we were scared in the trouble. They're coming out of the fields. All fields. Oh, he's got a... One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Um, easy, easy. Jump. Got you. That was cool. That was really cool. Hey, Morgan. Over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. We're not going to get $5,000. Good job. <laughs> What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. You but I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. I knew we wouldn't get top price from. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. 
At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Have a look at this journal real quick. Let's see what Arthur's writing. Uh, last chapter. Oh, he's writing a lot. basically everything we were doing in our life. Uh, Charles and I went looking for Tron, uh, well, his name, Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He's being escorted, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, it's just everything that we've been doing. Uh, what's this? He's always seemed to be ma more. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more Um, may it come down with gangrene and I will live, if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaite have a pot of pissing, but I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the Aris, Aris, blah, whatever. God, there's some big words in this diary, Arthur. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, there's Jack. Never seen Jack for ages. Arthur? Good morning, Arthur. Don't go too close to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Let me know if you find candy. We may not be about to freeze to death, but at this rate, we will starve. Come on! We've been at this for too long to live like this. How about if I give them money, will they, will they shut up? Good Where's morning, the camp Arthur. funds? Uh, morning. John. Right, where's Dutch? We're gonna put some real big donations in this uh, pot, and then maybe Miss Grimshaw won't mourn at us for being lazy, not doing any hunting. Oh, what? I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Oh, my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. What is it? Just a pocket watch. Let's have a look here. Right. Give money. There we go. How's that for a donation, Dutch? That is what I like to see. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Let's have a look at the ledger. Our name should be written in gold. Thousand dollar cash. What is that? Um, Micah hasn't don donated anything. Gonna buy some quantity of tonics. Available medical wagon has increased. Okay, sweet. 
I'm gonna have to start remember using those. Um okay we want that. The quality and quantity of food available in the pantry has increased. You can pay to resupply the pantry when stocks are low. Excellent, we don't have to do any more hunting. Okay, um the good stuff. Important health cures, yep. I feel like I'm upgrading my camp in Red Dead Online again. It's weird. Right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade Dutch's lodgings here. $220. This is probably just way up there in his good books. <laughs> hey, old Dutch. Right, uh, we just spent, uh, oh god, I don't know what we spent, at least $2,000 upgrading the camp. We bought Dutch a new bed and bought everybody new tents and loads of goodies for the camp. Let's go and see what... Oh, look at Dutch, looking swanky now. Let's go and have a look. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? <laughs> we won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Requested a mirror. I'll keep my eye open for one. I may just buy one out of catalog if that's even possible. But yeah, we've just upgraded the whole camp. I didn't even know this was possible. I thought that was just an online thing. Look at my bedding. Look at my desk. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, flower. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, look at this picture of Mary. We've not heard from her in a while. Let's stock up on some ammo. Oh, so here we go. I bought a map. This is the world. Oh, we can fast travel from here as well. Oh, that's... That's cool. There we go. Oh, fast travel. I did not know that. Um, yeah, nobody's thanked me for their stuff yet. Um, see what Charles says. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. <laughs> Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? 
I've never turned uh, turn down an opportunity to go hunting again with Charles. Okay, girl. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. Wow. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Oh, where's Charles going? So, where are we headed? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Would you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me. You know what? I actually like that. Because sometimes you do just want to ride and just take in the view and everything. Not far now. Let's cut up this way. This is the Highlands. Over there. You see Ooh, them? All? There they are, yeah. Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Um, bolt action with express rounds, the best thing to bring down bison. As clean as you can. Okay. Yeah. And I want to do this clean for Charles' sake. <laughs> um, which one's look after? This one. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Wow, that's a big pelt. <laughs> Ow. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. What's he want to check? Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Dead bison? No. Look. Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. So we follow him. All right. Lead the way. <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison to our left there. Oh, I Come see. On. Shot and left for dead again. 
but this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Let's have a look. Um... Oh, I can loot. What's this? Tobacco. Um, more loot. I'm looking. Hogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? The, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Oh, Come he on. does not Way sound up. happy. Charles is gonna bang this guy. <laughs> Take it easy, Charles. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck Ooh, you are. I won't mess with them. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Ah! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Is he even wearing a bison skin? What the hell are you doing? Beat. Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please. I've heard enough. Oh, right. Okay, we're done. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, loot. Um right, let's get out of here. Okay, uh Trelawney's back at our camp. Oh he's right here. Arthur Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think oh. I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, <laughs> never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Oh, I've still got this pelt you on sure the back. You seem to have got a belt around here. 
You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Hosea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. He's very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Yeah, we know Alden. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. The hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Whoa! What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, <laughs> Very dear true. boy. Very true. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. 
If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Mm, Dutch has always got a plan. Here we are. This is the spot. Giddy up! Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. Ah. Huh. And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Well, this seems more relaxing than when we robbed a stagecoach with Micah. That just turned out into another shootout. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Hey, hello. I hope you don't find my singing. Not at all. Oh. Did you say it's cool? He's woke. It's a small benefit. It's black. Did you see? Mrs. Jasper Dancer. Flattery. I flatter. <laughs> but he. Oh, they're stopping. Something for me. I, I'm looking for a Mexican soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it. I'm going to try and get in closer. Loot the strong box. Oh, there's someone there. Moving away, let's do it. That was easy. <laughs> Yeah, we've heard enough. Let's get out of here. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. And that was that, not a single shot fired. How much did we get? Let's see what Trelawney says. I don't run away. Stay close. Well done, sir! Well done! It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. 
750 we got 187 dollars not bad not bad right let's push on so bill williamson is waiting in town for us um let's go and see him come on we cannot use yeah we can't use weapons in town we know that Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, Mike is here. Oh, and Sean. Oh, cool. Okay. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Let's get going. <clears throat> What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. <clears throat> and what about board and their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah, they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. No, it don't feel right. I could have told you. What? Sean? Oh my god. He's dead. They killed Sean? What the fuck? Who the fuck shot him? Is he. Fucking Sean's not. Yeah, he's fucking dead. I'm going back here. Him. Fucking Micah. Shit. Shit. I need the shit they're kicking our ass. Shut up, Mikey, you can wait. They fucking killed Sean Maguire. Get in the side. Fuck off. off. Shit, I'm shaking here. Can't believe we got Sean. Fuck off, I got him. Sean? I don't even care about Bill right now. Oh, that's all what we're. Where did that go? Oh, thank God. I kind of believe that statement. Will you shut up, you? You're fucking antagonizing him. Looks like most of them. Not all. 
follow them. Sure. Fucking Micah. What about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll over there. Last time I saw him. Come on. What Bill left? Sheriff Gray. You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Just like strawberry. It's over. This fucking sheriff. We put down far worse than you. A hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been. Always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. True. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yeah. Ah, oh, Bill. Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Was Bush? Oh my God! He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him. Proper someplace quiet. Maka, best you and I don't <coughs> speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight. Yeah, fuck off, Maka. As soon as I showed up, and Maka was there. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. We've lost Sean. I just want to get to Dutch really fast and... I know you worry. I wanted to get to Dutch and see what he's got to say about that. It can't be good. We're looking for him. Everybody's out there right now. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh, Where's no. my goddamn son? What? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah. yeah why not? Yeah. Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh my God, they okay, took the kids. Let's go get that boy back. I knew he was pushing this too far. Burning them fields was... Oh my god. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Grays Oh shit. Town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. <sighs> what about the gold? Who gives a 
fuck? The damn about the gold. The gold, yeah. I got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! I think we are. I mean, there's a lot of us. <laughs> we're out with half, half of the... Half of the, cra uh, the gang here. So I think we're going to kick ass. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Better handle this right, Ozea. And Dutch. Oh man, these motherfuckers are gonna pay for this. Alright everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. Um yeah, I've got some weapons. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. <clears throat> Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John. I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Well, I wonder. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. These guys are going to have to go. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you ain't gonna eight, be nine, civilized ten. about this. I've got a life in this. Running out, come on. Shit, I didn't get that last guy. Got him. You know what? Have that. Parker, John, Hosea with me. The rest of you, watch out here for any other arrivals. Says mana. Jack. <laughs> I didn't even realise it did that. Jesus, that was a fast patrol, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> didn't even use dead eye. Jeez. Up here. Oh, he wants me to go upstairs. I'll take it. John's gonna search down here. Come on. We should go see what Dutch wants up there. Just 
just shout? Can we not? Can you not just shout? I can't hear any kids. We need a push. Shit! John! Ooh. Arthur! Hold them down here! We got more coming in! Arthur, get out there! We got this door covered! Oh shit, shut up, man. They got Molotovs. Give me some of that. And give me a cigar. Not exactly the right time to smoke a cigar, but. Oh, he got it twice. Jesus. They're just torches. I thought they had Molotovs. It's got to be a mall. Come on, where's Jack? Yeah, let's get in the room. Oh, shit, there's still somebody in there. I told you there's no getting in this way. They've got it locked. Let's have a look around. Oh, shit. Where's John? Oh, okay, okay. One, two, three. No! It's her. You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastard. Where's Wicked the witch. boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fuck around. Now let's get this when it comes to Jack. Any more of her sons to deal oh, God. No, breaking there all dead. <laughs> oh, man. She's burn this dog to the ground. Holy God, she's you gonna lose everything. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. God, she's lost everything. The house, all the sons. Why, why won't she tell us where? Oh shit! Why won't she tell us where Jack is? Lost her house for nothing. Wow. We'll get her out of it. We'll tie her to a tree or something. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there, or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. 
What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> So much for not causing trouble in roads. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody yeah. takes a boy to harm him. Mm. He's right, John. I hope. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. Mm. We killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch. We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. Oh. Great. A solution. Good day, fine <clears throat> people. Oh, we ain't Mr. got time Vanderland, for these guys. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Yeah, we Agent know Ross. who you are. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only Appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you <clears throat> in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. <laughs> I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Even Mr. Kieran's Milton, ready, Popham. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. Exactly. I'm Just afraid leave. I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Mm. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Yeah. The place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need <clears> to spot off. I've still got this stupid belt on. Um You alright, girl? Follow me. 
I know the way. Uh, there's so much happening right now. We're moving camp. We've lost Sean. And little Jack's been kidnapped by that Braithwaite woman, but she's sold him or given to someone in Saint Denis. <sighs> wow. Right now we've got to move camp. Them stupid Pinkertons have caught up with us. It's gonna be all right, John. It's just so we much. Should be going for Jack. We will. But we have to move everyone first before yeah. that bastard Milton comes back with an army. With 50 we men. ain't no use to Jack in jail. Or at the end of a rope. Exactly. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. <clears throat> I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Mosea, too. Get involved with those two families. The master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Mm. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We well, can't change what's done. We're going to get Jack on. back. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on. It ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. Or you'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. Mm -hmm. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Wow. We burned it down to the ground. Shit. Wow. Where are you going? It ain't that way. Yeah, no, John. Come on, let's go. So, what were you talking about before? Sure has. Damn, we know how to leave our mark. changed. I sometimes wonder if. Things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever... Oh shit, go, go. Just forget them fools. Roll your wheels, Morgan! Yeah, what were you saying? Oh yeah, this way. What the... Oh, okay, jungle. Damn, he's good. What right. was I talking about? Yeah. Sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, you were saying? I treated Jack bad. 
Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Hmm. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. I wouldn't imagine many people being here. I mean, me and Lenny took everybody out near enough. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure of nothing. All right, let's leave the horses here and take a look. Many though, about look of it. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. What the hell is Dead or alive? You're leaving this place today. Yeah, you sure are. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Come out with your hands up. You can still walk out of here. Come out where I can shoot you. Oh, I'm going to be real happy to shoot you up. I knew you'd come soon enough. these bodies don't want the others walking into this follow me oh okay all right this way we'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there Oh, there's an alligator there. <laughs> it might get him. Uh, lunch time. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. Welcome home, all of you, to uh, my humble abode. 
got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. <laughs> I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. I feel sorry for Molly. She's been wanting to talk to someone for a while, and that, girl? everyone All keeps ignoring her. And she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis. I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. Yeah, well, that's where Jack's All gone. Right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Other Bronte. places, maybe start with the saloon. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. To mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Oh. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Oh, that pollution. Jesus. Big cities. Always repellent? Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure <clears throat> out. Yes. Mm, there's a lot of lawmen in Big City, so... There's a few options on the map. Angel.
<clears throat> yeah, so I'm at the barber shop. I thought I'd go ahead and tidy myself up a little bit before we go around this civilized town and make ourselves look a bit cool. So, oh, um, get some dead eye. Have some of that. Portrait now. Please tell your friends about it. All right, you know where I am. Okay, then, girl. <coughs> okay, let's um, start asking around for this Angelo Bar Barante. Um, oh, in the saloon? Yeah, let's go there. I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? <sighs> I'll meet you back here or not. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Uh, oh, ooh. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, we do not look like we belong here. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. Now Everybody's rich and we're like, hello. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. All right, let's well, go. I'm a transplant, but I'm never Over leaving. here. I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all oh, really? get washed away. My money not as good as anybody else's? Yeah, hello? They say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Yeah, we've got to find this dude, though, no matter what. Bronte? Yes. Angelo Bronte? Yes. Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss, bitch. Yes. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get Kids in the alley. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Who the hell you think you are? He seems a bit strange. <laughs> he looks drunk. I don't know if we should listen to him, but I suppose we're going to have to. Right, kids in the alleyway. Fucking kids. Ugh. Where? So you just walk up to any man with a... Hey! 
Hey, you got a cigarette, <clears throat> mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Got dumb kids. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost dollars. around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? I don't trust that little shit. Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. I'm keeping my eye on that guy. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which oh. is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said <clears throat> they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. I fucking knew it. Hey, you little bit of shit. Oh. You little. Oh. Damn it. I'm gonna catch him. Where's my ass? Where's my ass? Oh, I'm gonna slap this little brat, silly. Oh, he's making fun of me. Oh my god. Genevieve. Let's go, babe. You better go. Stop right now. <clears throat> yeah, he's not getting away from me now. You give that back. Connor's old man. Cheeky little. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. Get out of the way. I'm gonna get this kid. You little bastard! I was just playing! Give me my things back! Get off me, mister! I'm a good boy! I wash! Give me my things. Here! Little bastard. Dante. At home? Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Little bastard. Whew, right. Um, return to Dutch. <laughs> what the hell are we going? This way. Altia. Where you at? Hey, be careful. Uh, Genevieve, where the hell? She's coming. <laughs> Just run everybody over in the street, funny horse. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Right, let's go. God, I've got to get this pelt off the back of Donate that to Pearson soon. Alright, so we got a lead. Let's go and tell Dutch. your children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. 
Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Mm. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. So, we've um, been to Angela Bronte, we found Jack, he was unarmed, they've been looking after him actually and put new clothes on him and fed him and sounds like he's been having a ball. Angela asked us, Angela Bronte asked us for a favour though, to clear out some grave robbers. We did that for him, we got his returned cash and we got Jack in return. And... Everybody's throwing a party for him. We're having a little party here for Jack. Oh, it feels weird that Sean's not here. Sean McGuire. Mr. Bell. Had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yes, warrior style. <laughs> uh, let's go and get a drink. Loiter and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. <laughs> Kieran. Oh, we'll go fishing again soon. As soon as I see a fishing activity, I'll go fishing with Kieran. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep, all right, man. Well, see ya. Charles. You all right, Charles? Yeah, just taking it all in. Joy is good to have a kid back. Um, let's get a beer. Everyone's got a beer. Oh, look at Abigail and John. The old guard. I'm very relieved we all are. Yeah. Oh, they're not arguing. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Ooh. I'm getting drunk off two beers. Right. Uh, I think we should go to bed. I think half of them. Must be tired or something, he looks. What time is it? Yeah, he looks tired. Well, I don't think we've slept ever since they took Jack. Um, sleep. Um, I think we should sleep till noon, 10 hours. Arthur's earned it, you know. Done a lot. We got Jack back. 